Some shocking allegations tonight made by a former private investigator who worked for Casey Anthony's defense team. He's claiming that her attorney, Jose Baez, told him Anthony murdered her daughter Kaylee and buried her body. Josh Benson joins us now with an update to this story that really captured the attention of the nation. And you just heard back from Baez Law Firm. What have you learned here, Josh? Not long ago, yeah, that's right, Keith. Just minutes ago, Jose Baez Law Firm sent me this. It's a cease and desist letter. He doesn't want us to report what we found in court documents from Casey's bankruptcy proceedings. But I'll tell you, the documents, they read like a suspense novel. Claims of sex, fraud, cover-up, framing, even a tie to a drug kingpin. The two affidavits packed with damning claims by former private investigator Dominic Casey, who was hired by the defense in July of 2008. Within weeks after starting this, Baez had told me that Casey had murdered Kaylee and dumped the body somewhere, and he needed all the help he could get to find the body before anyone else did. As for the man who found Kaylee's remains, Dominic Casey claims there were talks of framing Roy Cronk. Casey had also left the back gate ajar. Since Roy Cronk was a meter reader for the house, maybe we could say he kidnapped Kaylee. The former private investigator talked of Casey Anthony's financial situation. She had no money and willingly entered into a second agreement with Jose Baez individually. Dominic Casey even claimed there were deals made with sex, referring to a time when Casey didn't want to do a television interview. He called the network, saying they would have to take a rain check, hung up the phone and said to Casey, you now owe me three blank blank. The former PI goes on to claim, I arrived at Baez's office unexpectedly one day and once again witnessed a naked Casey. Casey told me she had to do what Jose said because she had no money for her defense. Dominic Casey even alleges that a convicted drug trafficker and money launderer for Mexican drug lord El Chapo put up more than a half a million dollars for Casey Anthony's defense fund. Keith. Well, I guess I can see why Jose Baez didn't want us uh, giving out information about this. But what does he say in that cease and desist letter? I mean, those are uh, unbelievable allegations against him. Yeah, he said straight from that uh, letter, he said these documents came from an attention-seeking, delusional individual with a history of making false and outrageous claims not only to court officials, but to the media. Keith. Well, we'll see how this all shakes out in time. Thank you, Josh Benson, live in our Tampa News Center.